Hey, welcome back everyone. This is the 10 a.m. to 10.30 session of the 2017 Open Simulator Community Conference entitled The First Digital Biennial. As a reminder, I want to remind everyone that you can check out the full conference schedule at conference.opensimulator.org. You can tweet your questions or comments to at OpenSimCC or hashtag, hashtag OSCC17. For today's session, we are going to be speaking to Art Blue and Julieta Surreal Dreaming. And Art Blue looks back on 40 years in computing industry and in the art education area. Currently the director of the Digital Art Trust Programmed Art Foundation. So we're going to um, hear from him about the last 40 years of the computing industry and art education. And I'm going to turn it over to Art. Welcome to the presentation, which I will share with Juliette Surreal Dreaming. I will point out what the driving elements are for setting up the first fully immersive Biennale. I'm known in the grids as Art Blue and I live, as you see on my profile domain, .de, in Germany. I have to thank the organizational committee for the invite to speak today. Juliette will happily show you how the project is going on at our booth 08 at Expo Zone 3 during the coffee break. She lives in California, which gives you a chance to reach at least one of the team around the clock. This is not our first project for the arts. Nevertheless, we are both happy to learn and we can learn a lot from all the gifted persons who share and contribute with their ideas and works. At the end of the presentation you will see some first submissions and examples that are made for demonstration purposes. You might wonder why I write xreality link for a website for my bio. The bio CNN states about me is some years old and the blogs I published there are no longer updated. The content got frozen. If I would have to look for a new job in the media and the person thinking about hiring me would see that I have only 1760 page views, I would get dumped on the spot. We live in times where hits and followers count more than anything else. You don't see by looking at CNNI reports that the content was frozen in 2015. If you look at Facebook, where it is said the entries are reality-proofed entries only for real friends, though the advertisement industry is happy on it, you will find hundreds of persons with the name Resident. I mean, not President, I mean Resident, the family name Linden Lab created. And I know some attending this conference, sitting in this audience, have a Facebook account that is far away from any real name. Some of us have lost their ability to post in Facebook as I experienced with my account ArtBlue. Sansa, the new world by Linden Lab, wants a reasonable reality proof. So I think of Facebook, of course. I'm in Sansa as Avari Aka. ArtBlue looks like being reasonable real, at least for Sansa. The digital existence is a persistent one like CNN or a fragile one like Facebook. Digital art does not come without a social media impact. Creating things, creating art, all digital, the digital Anthropocene becomes reality. The impact of mankind is digitalization of our lives and life means art. When it comes to digital art, when you have to use an avatar to explore it, to experience art inside the computer, usually get in the conventional or traditional art community a skeptical view, even if the art community always says, we are open for new perspectives. It is a difficult mission to open the eyes of an art lover to new views when it comes to computers. What is real? What is virtual? 
Are art consumers, visitors able to immerse in a virtual art installment? Some might answer for this they have to use HMDs, head mounted displays. There, by wearing it, the person is forced to immerse, for good or bad. But we here, using Open Simulator, don't need an HMD to see the depth. We move the camera. We zoom, we walk, we turn, we dance, we fly. If there is a benefit for the human mind, we literally live inside the computer. That's the message. The avatar is us. I'm Art Blue, you know it. In my story is a little blue. Okay, I come back on this later. Now time for a break. Time for Socio Model 3560. Giulietti will present the model. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the year 1981. Yes, a time travel trip back to the future. Relax and be there. Look forward into the future. We present you the model 3560, which can do stunning things. Oh, I get an eye from Art Blue that we don't have time for a story, a story that reaches to the future. I can just read the quote from James Morrow, published in 1981. Sozio Model 3560. A back tubeway brought him to Darwin's control deck, where, center stage, Byrne Newman fidgeted near one face on the main monitor. The Malnovian asteroid belt orbited as if nothing had happened. Under less awful circumstances, Francis loved watching the great cubic monitor, which its stirring displays imprisoned suns. Darwin's was a Sozio model 3560, which meant the hollow projector was mounted in the ceiling instead of the floor or wall. Sozio made 4D equipment. The image had height, width, depth, and a 4D that eluded precise definition. It was called presence. Art Blue likes to bring into his stories this passage to quote words from 1981 over and over. Sozio made 4D equipment. The image had height, width, depth, and a fourth D that eluded precise definition, it was called presence. Presence is what we want to create in the Biennale. Let's return to the James Morrow quote. Somehow you felt that the subject was there in the room with you. You could seemingly walk up to it, savor its fragrance, finger its texture, rub a few eons grime off its contours. Francis felt the Malnovian belt's presence, and he reeled with total loathing. Burns snorted, acknowledging that Francis, too, had presence. Speaking of presence, Art Blue has entered the building. Sorry when I don't laugh. You know, it is all pre-recorded. You don't know? Digital is digital, so why shall I speak life analog and make you believe so that it is life? Will you believe when I show you paintings of old masters recoded that they have been really looking once this way? I transmit right now from Unavera, an island that exists in the servers, all data transmission supervised by the NGA. You can't follow? That's why art needs a story to follow, a good one, a good story, and we have some good stories at the first digital biennale. Don't give people just a download link when it comes to the arts. Don't say, download the few of Firestorm and let them alone. They are not gamers, and most are not computing enthusiasts, at least when it goes for the art community. Readings, discussions, demonstrations and an educational campus around the globe sets our concept. 
in Europe via the Santorini Biennale and its network, the Biennale Institute. Time for some videos I presented at the first Immersivia at Santorini in 2016. We call them when made in World Machinima. Sadly, I can only give you the links. You might see and feel a story behind when you watch them. The first Biennale and the Immersivia are connected. Immersivia is made for Santorini, hosted by the Santorini Biennale, running under Greek law, and first Biennale is hosted by Visit Leipzig, a city 100 miles from Berlin, and running under German law. Contributions to the Immersivia don't have to be made for Open Simulator. Contributions for the first Biennale have to be an open simulator and have to be in a specific layout, which I will outline soon. To take part in the first Biennale is free of charge. Juliette and I will happily answer questions if you would like to participate as a builder or artist. Sponsoring is an important part in the arts, maybe the most important one. Do you have a location at hand, a sponsor for electricity for some big screens, music, drinks, snacks or a TV station? I happily come if the travel costs are covered. Same goes for Giuliette. Some artists have a nice atelier and offer a reading and a show at their home base for a small number of guests. I don't mind if only 10 people attend as we air it to the web. To Onavero, a place where reality and dream overlaps. You see, I fall back to stories. I myself do no longer create art. It does not fit to be curator and artist in one. I had my high times as I was young, coding an art package in Fortran, published it. This way I become one of the pioneers with the stamp still alive and active. Even MoMA has one of my early computer drawings, just because it is old, not good. I set my focus to mentor young artists, means mentally young artists, and to conserve the development of digital art. I hope you had time to brief look or that you will have later time to look a bit on the background of recoding. You can't see by looking on a drawing how it was once coded. All the programmers who recoded my works did not grab the parametric concept that is behind. I see it because I have a basic knowledge of processing in which recodes by the recode project happen. Now I come to my last input or let's call it vision, motivation or simple mission, to conserve prim and prim and mesh based art worlds. I want that these works are still available to be explored in 2049, let's say by historians. 2049 is a link to the movie Blade Runner, so it is just an example. Art history of the digital Anthropocene will become a new department as we are in the age of technology. Nothing is faster than coding. That's the purpose of the first Biennale and the guidelines are made for this purpose. A Biennale stands, stands for an art show every two years. That's the statute of the Art Foundation for which I am in charge. Our mission is to open the servers every two years to the public and present digital art submitted to the global community in a cultural habitat environment. In Germany, Bremer Kunsthalle is such a suited place. They have a focus on old computer art made before 1980s. Some of my works from the 70s are conserved on paper there. I am sure in 50 years some national institutions will also see the current digital art in virtual worlds as a part of human history. The next slides show examples of our current first Biennale project. Just have a look. The few samples are made by builder participants in the center of each pavilion is an exhibition cube 
in which a participating artist will exhibit their art. The exhibiting cubes will change on demand by a click, by time, by code. At this time, the floor is open for questions. Thank you. All right, do we have any questions from the floor? I, I'm going to ask uh, just to get us started. Um, so uh, the two of you are going to be still taking designs for the cube or you have the designs and you'll be uh, showing them? Um, we're taking, we're still accepting um, contributions uh, for the pavilion uh, build. It's, I believe, March 1st and then for the artist cubes, it's April 1st. So there's still quite a bit of time left for people to jump in and participate. Awesome. And, and how do they uh, get the information to do so? They would contact us in world, um, either art myself or uh, um, um, either of us, and we're we're in multiple uh, open stems, so you just search for us. And at our booth, we also have note cards that provide uh, contact information. And which expo are you in? Zero eight. All right. Yeah. So, um, any other last minute questions? We have about a minute and a half here. Uh, I don't want to miss anyone's questions. But I think this is fantastic. I myself actually came into virtual space uh, because I wanted to see about creating an art gallery to feature art uh, instead of just a flat website to sell it. Um, and then just the interaction of art and the virtuality is fantastic. And anybody, um, gosh, it's just so inspiring. You you can see so many different things that inspire and it's wonderful. Oh yeah. There's a plethora of creativity in open Sims. So I think art's mission to conserve digital art is, is perfect. It really is perfect. So yeah. yeah. I have a very last uh, line. I made a uh, slide as you see in the link just right now to emphasize that we are not in a big area. We are not football. We are not uh, for the big audience. We are more the um, person with an arrow or with a bow, the archers, where we can create what we want to create for a small group of people, not for the big masses. So we're not spectators like in football. We are more the makers. So I'm not concerned that we are not growing in numbers exponentially, as Maria said to survive in the future, it's a niche, but it's uh, something we are, and that's the open simulator we can take care of. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Art and Juliet, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Um, as a reminder to our audience, uh, again, you can see our conference schedule at conference.opensimulator.org. Following this session, the next session will begin at 10.30 a.m., uh, Pacific Time, and is entitled The Noble Spirit, Transcendentalism and Transdisciplinarity. So um, make sure you stay tuned for that. I also encourage you to go. Uh, they mentioned that their booth is in one of the expos. Uh, you can also see the OSCC 17 Poster Expo on Expo 3. Uh, make sure that you take the time to jump around because you'll be inspired. There's something there to inspire you to do something great with an open simulator platform. All right, we'll talk to you in a little bit. Thank you.